Okay, so one fun fact and one not so fun fact. The fun fact is my local pub is actually the one that you see near the beginning of an American werewolf in London. When they're on the moors and they go into the pub, that is my local and it is beautiful. Not so fun fact, I was just looking at the IMDB page for American Werewolf in London to fact check a few things and I noticed that they are doing a remake and I don't know why. I hope they really take advantage of modern technology to make it look incredible and make it look worthwhile, but the transformation scene in the original 1981 film is spectacular and I don't know how they could top that. However, that's a discussion for another day because American Werewolf in London, the original, the one and only, is a spectacular film. It's one of those films that's always cited as being exemplary when it comes to werewolf films. And that's exactly what it is. And there are several things I love about this. There will not be any there will not be any real spoilers in this, I think. And quite frankly, the, the plot is self-explanatory with a title. An American, well, two American college students come to Britain and one of them is attacked by a werewolf and obviously slowly into the story we realise that he's been infected and he will transform into a werewolf and they are in London and obviously it's bloodthirsty and aggressive and vicious and as I said that transformation scene is just absolutely beautiful I love it if you haven't seen the film do at least try and see that transition scene I, it will be on YouTube it definitely will be hopefully. It's, especially given the fact that this was the beginning of the 80s, it's just incredible. It's so sensational. So it's directed and written by John Landis, and the narrative is brilliant. I love the way it plays out. For me, with this film, I'm not that emotionally invested in the story. Apart from, obviously, our main characters, there's not really anybody in this I'm emotionally invested in either. I don't care if X lives or Y dies. For me this is a visual journey and it's heart racing with the werewolf and it's always gorgeous. And there's one scene where the werewolf is running down the un London Underground and whenever I go to this particular London Underground station I, I can only see that. That's all I can see in my mind is that scene. Which is a little bit frightening when it's late at night or early morning, there's nobody around and you just think, well I'm going to get attacked by a werewolf. But it is a lot of fun and I I haven't seen a werewolf film that I like as much as this one. There are not that many werewolf films that I do like to be honest because I find them all very cliche. Um, Ginger Snaps is very good and I have seen an American werewolf in Paris. I will talk about that at some point. But if you're looking for a good werewolf film, one that is visually compelling, that has a decent enough narrative that will keep you on the edge of your seat and that you can just fall in love with, An American Werewolf in London is the best decision you could make.